to also try to develop the ball. It's a very good speaker. If Perry misses the snooker, Gray needs red black off the last red to win. Foul, David Gray, four. <clears throat> so, Gray's obtained the necessary snooker. A bit more tactical play required here. It would then be red, pink, and all the colours to tie. Red, black, and all the colours to win. Another snooker. I mean, somewhere in the back of Joe Perry's mind, he must be thinking, how is this match still going on? Pretty good shot, that. Pretty good shot. As he was coming down to confirm that fact. Thanks. He can just get to the edge of it. Now, he's not been playing these well this evening, but he needs to hit this one. That was a good time to find a thin edge. Absolutely. And he couldn't have played it better. He's got the snooker. Can Perry get it safe? <coughs> well, there's a decision here. This red will go, but at the moment, he needs red-black to win. It's an easy snooker if he decided to play it. He's looking to see if he could get on the black. But as I say, it's an easy snooker. If he got another four-point snooker, then he wouldn't need the black off the last red. <laughs> well, he decided to go for the pot and position Fun. on the black. And he's not quite got it. This is a tough black. Straight in the heart of the pocket for the red, but just overran it. The pink's easier. This black is tough. He'll need two snookers if he misses it. Give it every chance. Eight. Give it every chance to go in the pocket. Well, I think Perry's stomach may be knotting up a bit now. His opponent needed a snooker in uh, what would have been the match-winning frame for Perry. David Gray, eight. Still a way to go in this frame. But uh, Gray's the one, in a sense, with it all to gain because five minutes ago he assumed he'd lost. Sound choice of shot with uh, two balls in the middle of the table, possibly hiding the yellow. <coughs> I 
I mean, normally you'd play the cross double here, but I don't know whether David can hit enough of this yellow. He couldn't, so he stunned it round. Kiss on the brown normally wouldn't be helpful, but I don't think that's a bad one. I don't think it's a snooker. I think you can get in between the gap between pink and blue. You see it. Well, will he be tempted? He may be, you know. Because there's no simple safety shot on here. If he tries double the O up and down the table, he could get a double kiss. He's 26 points in front. He just needs the yellow. It was tough, worth a go, and uh, can't have any real complaint about the outcome. Black safer than it was. Well, Dave is having a good look at this yellow. I don't know whether he can cut it in the left middle and avoid a kiss on the pink. If he can, it's worth taking on, but he needs to miss the pink. He did miss the pink and he's going to be on the green. What a tremendous Two. shot that was. Perry all too conscious that certain victory, or apparently certain... Five. ...could still be snatched away. And he looks to be perfect on the brown. What a blow this will be for Joe Perry. He potted the frame and match ball and snookered himself on a simple red that gave David Gray this opportunity. Nine. This looks good. But the main key, because the black's not on his spot, and that's what Joe Perry may be pinning his hopes on. A good angle on the pink here, essential, off the blue. Fourteen. Oh, he's a little bit further away from the pink than I would like. A big intake of breath. Nice angle on this pink, though. Twenty. This great or a chance he never expected to have. Yes, but he didn't want to be on the cushion. Shh, shh. This is tricky. Deciding frame. 